let's go to Luke chapter 12, 47 through 48. And I want to keep this really simple because this can mean many things. If you read in Luke chapter 12, when you go all the way down, those scriptures can mean more than one thing. But let me keep it simple. I don't want to confuse anyone and I kind of want to make this shorter. Okay, so Luke 12, 47 through 48, to the left is the King James Version, to the right is the Expanded Bible. And that servant which knew his Lord's will, and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. So you may be saying to me, hey Kevin, what does that mean? Okay, let me read it again. And that servant which knew his Lord's will, so people who know about God, people who sometimes serve God, but on the other hand, they go back to sin or they are sinning and I guess in their mind, they are serving God at the same time. But they know that what they are doing is wrong, but they are still doing it anyways. So in that servant which knew his Lord's will, so maybe I went ahead of myself. <laughs> in that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, she'll be beaten with many stripes. So a person who knows about God and they may be serving God in a way, but on the other hand, they are doing things that they know that are wrong. So they know the right things to do and they may do some of the things that God wants us to do, like praying, helping others, um, they may fast or teach other people about God, but at the same time, they are out there doing things they are not supposed to do. And what this is saying, well, you know what you should be doing, but you are still choosing to do the wrong thing, so hey, I am going to punish you more. I am going to punish you more than a person who does not know as much as you, or yes, that does not know as much as you. So let's go to 48. Okay. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes, so a person who may know about God, but they don't know that much. You know, they may know basic things about God. They may know that cheating and lying are sins, but they really don't have any roots in Christianity. Like they may not go to church or they may not know much. So, but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes. So, you don't know much about God, but you are in sin still. So, but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes, so you are in sin, shall be beaten with few stripes. So let's take two people. Now the first person have been in church ever since they were a child. So let's say this person here is I don't know, 25. And there is another person that never really went to church or never went to church. They may have heard about Jesus on TV or something like that, but they don't know much. But they may know basic things like cursing is a sin or cheating is a sin, doing drugs is a sin. They may know basic things, but they don't know as much as the first person that have been in church or know more about God. So let's say the experienced person is 25 and you know the age really don't matter and let's say that 
the other the second person is 23 that really don't know much about God so the person who knows more about God is going to be punished a lot more than the person who knows less why because you know more about God so you don't have an excuse makes sense right excuse me but either way they both are in sin they both are going to get punished but the degree of punishment is different makes sense right they both are in sin one knows more about God than the other but the degree of punishment is different why because one knows a lot more than God. So you are going to be judged. You are going to be punished based upon what you know. This is something that you may not have heard. This is why I am teaching it right now. Okay. So, but he that knew not and did not commit things worthy of stripes and did, oh, excuse me, and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. So, hey, so the person who really don't know much about God will be beaten, will be punished anyways. Makes sense, right? For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. So since you know so much about God, God expects more from you than a person who don't really know much about God. Why? Because you know more about God. So since you know more about God, hey, you are expected to act better than a person who knows less than you. So the degree of punishment is going to be different if both people or anyone who chooses to do wrong makes sense right okay for unto whosoever whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required so what god requires of me may be different from what god requires of you i may not know as much as you you may not know as much as me I may have experienced God more than you. So God is not going to require much from you because you really don't know much about God. Makes sense, right? Okay. And to whom men have committed much of him, they will ask the more. So the more you know about God, the more that you experience God, God is going to require a lot more from you than another person that may have learned about God 10 seconds ago. So if that person choose to do wrong, and since I know more about that, since I know more about God than the other person, if we both do, do wrong, we both are going to be punished, but I am going to be punished more because I know better. I know better. So everyone does not get the same punishments. And if you keep reading, even when you serve God, everyone does not get the same rewards as well. Everything is based upon what we do on earth. So the rewards and punishments are not the same for everyone. Everything is based upon what you do, say, think, whatever else on this earth. So your behavior on this earth determines what type of punishment you will get or what type of reward you are going to get as well. I really hope that makes sense. Nothing is the same. So if you know so much about God, but you still choose to have sex before marriage and do all of these things, that is the reason so many bad things are happening to you. Like somebody else could be doing the same things as you, but that other person is not getting punished as much as you. Why? Because you know better. You know more than that other person. 
you have experienced God a lot more than those other people. So, of course, you are going to be punished a lot more. And when you go to hell, it is the same thing. If you knew a lot more of God, but you still chose to do wrong, <laughs> you are going to be tormented a lot more than a person who may not have heard about God as much as you, but they still knew what wrong and right is. Does that make any sense? I really hope so. So repent of your sins while you have the chance now because time is not promised. Time is not promised. You may say, well, you know, my brother lived or he is this old or my uncle is this old or my grandma is this old. So I may live till that age. Nothing is promised. You can die at any time. I can die at any time. This is the reason why I don't play around with my soul. I make sure that I do things right. Yes, I make mistakes, yes. But overall, I make sure that I am ready to leave this earth at any time because, look, I am not trying to go to hell. I don't know about you, but me, no. No. So take heed to this, take notes, be serious with your life. We are here on this earth for nothing else but to serve God. We are here on this earth for his pleasure. So when you choose to do your own thing and go sinning and all of that stuff there, you are not doing what God has created you for. So, whoever wants to know the meaning of life, there you go. It is just that simple. You are here for the pleasure of God. That's it. You are here to serve God. If you are not, you are not doing what you should do. And that is why if you continue to disobey God until death, that is why he is going to separate himself from you and that's why you will go to hell if you so choose. Well, you are choosing by disobeying God. So really take heed to that. God bless.